is the fact that this is the first time in Suzuki history that a group of engineers from Maruti have been involved in the production, complete concept of a new car. Well, this team of 25 people spent a lot of time at Hamamatsu, Suzuki headquarters. And guess what? The entire team is with us on the program today. We're going to spend some time with them. Mr. Raman is the team leader. So thanks very much for joining us on the Car and Bike Show. It's You've, of course, been on the show with us before. Yeah. That was during the new Zen launch, but yeah. uh, this is something clearly a lot bigger than that. That's right. What does it mean for your team and for Maruti? The experience is what uh, a designer looks for. And uh, in the case of the Zen Minor, clearly it was one step. But being part of the uh, you know, new international car of Suzuki is uh, something which is uh, you know, very important for an engineer, for a designer to work on. And that is because through that experience, he can go to the next step. And this is a constant process of developing our, our capability for designing our own cars. We requested Suzuki that we want to, uh, you know, be a part, of, be a part of the entire process. All right. Now, the first thing, of course, that strikes anybody who looks at the car is the way it looks. Yes. And so uh, you have people on the design aspect as well working on that too? Yeah. We had people from the design uh, group who were uh, working in Suzuki. They were uh, working on the uh, interiors and on the uh, you know the changes which we had to do specifically for the uh, this part of the world. Yeah. But there was one aspect which we had to be very uh, you know careful about that we wanted uh, the rear seat to be specifically designed for Indian conditions. What do you mean by that? Uh, they, uh, what it means is that we wanted that three people should sit comfortably in the rear seat and so it was specifically designed for that. So was that an input that went into sort of all the models that are being produced everywhere or is that something that specific, specific to the for Indian? Uh, Indian uh, all right, we've got this big need for good air conditioning. Yeah. So what about that, the fact that this has a climate control system in the top end model, yeah. what's new and what's different there? Uh, in this uh, we have an auto AC and uh, I would uh, now uh, introduce you to Ritesh Khandelwa. He Hi, has, uh, worked on this uh, auto AC. Basically, uh, auto AC helps you achieve the desired comfort level based on the given cabin conditions, the ambient conditions, even the sun load. It takes everything into consideration and helps you achieve the desired comfort level in the minimum possible time. Sure, but and what I'm trying to get at is, you know, we have extreme weather conditions in our country. Obviously, that's something that you would have looked at when you were, you know, working on this process. Even in the base model, the air conditioning unit, yeah. how, how important was that in terms of the overall uh, uh, Basically, work? looking at the hot Indian conditions, the high solar load, the one thing which we had to really look at and redesign is the condensing, uh, the cooling capacity of the AC system. So that reflects directly in the cabin comfort also. So, like, you can uh, uh, really feel the chill in the minimum possible time. That's give, that gives you a very great feeling. And that's something that you've worked at across variants, I mean, depending uh, on... Uh, across variants, of course, we have worked, but for, uh, especially for India, this has been uh, revamped. All right. The, the engine, again, is something, the block that is being used here in India is, of course, the esteem block. So yeah. that's, again, something different. So yeah. when was, why, why was that decision taken not to use what is being used in Hungary, let's say? Uh, basically, because of the, uh, you know, uh, what manufacturing uh, capability or capacity which we have got, and uh, looking at that, the, uh, it was decided that we will go for the G13 engine. Right. But the G13 engine specifically had to be uh, uh, redesigned for the Indian conditions, which I would request uh, Piyush to explain. Hi, Piyush. Hi. Tell us uh, basically what changes have been made to, uh, you know, I mean, this is almost like a new engine now. So, yeah, to be very frank. What was I the mean, target, firstly? What had you set out for yourself as the. See, that we want to achieve this. If you see from the Indian perspective, the customers in India specifically want good city driving, should be able to cruise in the highway and should get good fuel economy. So these three... They want everything the, basically. Yeah, <laughs> with these three targets we started up. Now, uh, the intake system has been specifically worked in this vehicle. If you see, it's an all-new intake manifold. The air cleaner has been uh, made quite bigger and the overall intake system length has been decreased. It has got an all-new exhaust system with a free-flow kind of a stuff. Hmm. Uh, there's minimum back pressure to get optimum performance and of course the engine cooling has been revamped. The engine cooling again is a very sort of India specific yes. worry in a sense. Yes, yes, so yes. What, what have you actually done? What uh, changes have been the, made there? If you see the radiator per se, this is the biggest radiator that we have currently in the Maruti stable. And uh, the fan is a special fan with a very high torque motor. So it gives you the kind of engine cooling that is required in the engine conditions. So the European model doesn't necessarily have this then, which doesn't need such a big... 
it doesn't need Go that way you know for india we have to specifically tune it to the indian right. conditions looking at the high temperatures that we have in the ambient and what sort of uh, what, what was the sort of plan in terms of the engine output was that also something specific that you were looking at par yes we were looking at higher par and par and we were specifically looking at uh, lower range torque you know so with the new intake manifold and the exhaust manifold we could get you know 87 uh, horsepower plus 113 newton meter torque and apart from that uh, the gearbox has also been specifically tuned to suit this powertrain and the vehicle all right so the gear ratios have been revamped so that you know in the city when you are driving you feel that low end torque and you feel that you know the vehicle is really moving and when you go over to the highway it really cruises at high speed and uh, coupled with that of course you get a very good fuel economy so tailor made for indian conditions yes. then that's very interesting that's something very specific that's, again because right. we find a lot of uh, car makers you know just pick up a existing model let's say from europe or america and just yeah. bring it over here and it doesn't always work yeah. so that that was part of the brief then obviously that's right all right and uh, the other specific uh, brief uh, was because the ride and handling is uh, the usp of uh, the model so therefore uh, we had to specifically tweak the suspension to suit the indian road conditions so conditions which are uh, prevailing in india that is the road specific to the road the evaluation part has to be much more stringent as compared to your available sure. globally sure so we were fo- we were following the suzuki test procedures so but those had to be more stringent to get adapted to the indian conditions oh, that's actually quite interesting thanks so much deepak yeah. you tell me something now they got a big team of people here yeah. they've all obviously you know brought back a lot from this experience yeah. but what does it really mean looking ahead i mean where does this go from here now basically <laughs> this is part of our evaluation capability and uh, basically design and evaluation capability i should say because <clears throat> we have been sending our engineers to suzuki for training and they work for a period of 2 years in uh, suzuki they understand the systems and the uh, the way the design has to be but done but that's typical but operational I, procedure yeah I mean, but as just... i said design is by experience uh, we would in 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 that sense be able to do more design and more evaluation in uh, maruti along with the suzuki engineering and do more concurrently and i'm sure it's a great feeling for all of them and uh, and for you to see these cars on the road now Absolutely. and so congratulations to all of you from uh, yeah. from the car and bike thanks team so thanks very much for speaking to us today thanks to all of you in fact thanks, thanks. a lot